On the 16th of February 2011, a well-loved NIST alumnus from the year graduating class of 2008, Ardash Mukherjee tragically passed away at the age of 21 following an accident. Ardash demonstrated the traits and attitudes of what an IB student should be. He had enthusiasm to learn and a zest for life and experiencing all aspects of it. Many of Ardash's achievements and successes were a result of his time at NIST. This is where he learned the importance of learning, communicating and enjoying all that life had to offer. He shared a unique perspective, one that attached him to everyone he met in bonds that were unbreakable. He believed in following his dreams, the ones he chose, as well as the ones presented to him. Ardash was no stranger to disappointment, but he had the strength to convert any experience into a positive, fun-filled adventure. He understood people. He knew how to bring out the best in those around him. To honour Ardash, his family in turn wishes to honour one of our senior students each year who shares these special characteristics by awarding the Ardash Mukherjee Award for the most spirited student. This student is selected from the nominations from both staff and students and is a well-rounded member of the community. Someone who's not just excelled in one area but rather a student who has impacted the lives of those around them. A person who makes every moment count. A positive person who brings out the good, the good in others. Someone who understands the importance of learning. And finally, someone with a zest for life who enjoys all that life has to offer. Kumbrab, Prab, could I invite you up onto stage? The recipient of the Ardash Mukherjee Award for the class of 2020 is AJ. Good afternoon, families, friends, teachers, distinguished guests, members of the board, and of course, the class of 2020. This kind of sucks. It sucks that we aren't able to receive the traditional senior experience we imagined. It sucks that we can't have our parents and teachers here today. There is no way to downplay what we're missing out on. But luckily, today is more about celebrating our journey our successes, failures, and moments of procrastination than it is about losing our brain cells in Katsumoi. We all started our journey separately, but one way or another, we found our way to NIST. It took time, but we started to grow. We clicked with our friend groups. We started to understand who we are. And most importantly, we embraced each other's quirks. From Tamami's weird laughs to Callum's extremely straight walk to Adam's 80 gigabyte homework folder, we began to appreciate each other for who we are. When we look back at our time at NIST, only then will we fully realize just how special every moment was. From every time we gathered in front of the secondary building after school to hear Sunshine scream in his Texas accent, to all the hours we spent in TCDC socializing instead of actually studying. When Simon brought in a Japanese to English dictionary in a math exam, just to make Mr. Cooper mad, we made memories. When we sang on the top of our lungs in the bus rides to Action Week and or sport games, we made memories. For every time we walked across the street to the chicken lady or begged our teachers to boost our grades, we made memories. And yes, of course, we made history too. The first IB class to spend the month of May watching Tiger King and Too Hot to Handle instead of struggling our way through exams. We also went above and beyond to demonstrate the IB Learner Profile. Some of us were real risk takers by climbing into school and running away from security guards just to play basketball. <laughs> Others took caring to a new extreme, helping each other in a math assessment just to realize it really wasn't worth it. We were also very principled. We never used spark notes instead of reading our books. 
We never made up data in lab reports, and we never memorized answers to past paper questions. Sorry, Senor Sergio. And that brings us to who we are today. We transitioned from gray to navy blue to white, and along the way, we made it our mission to never wear knit sweatshirts just to make Mr. Cooper angry. And finally, here we are today in our royal blue gowns. For the first time, it's our choice to choose what to wear next. A lab coat, business suit, and honestly, I don't really know what people wear, but wear whatever you desire. Look, while I am genuinely honored to receive this award, I don't think there's been any other graduating class that has had so much spirit and resilience amid so much uncertainty. And for that, we should all be rewarded. Adarsh Mukherjee demonstrated what it meant to have a zest for life, to be positive in the most difficult of times, and to be grateful for what the world has to offer. Although we had it rough, we had that spirit. Slowly but surely, we learned to dance in the rain instead of waiting for the storm to pass. Rani started showing off his horrible ukulele skills in our virtual assembly. Kaide Hasegawa entertained us with her never-ending list of questions. <laughs> we even maneuvered around a pandemic just to see each other. Either way, we would never be here if it wasn't for the people who have allowed us to flourish as the flowers we are today. Yes, our parents and family planted the seeds, but they never left our side. I'm sure we've all had our fights and differences, but they persistently shined as our rays of positivity. They reminded us that brighter days are to come. They dealt with our mood swings throughout puberty and all the times we begged them to buy a new phone or extend our curfews. Our families meant, made sacrifices and worked their hardest to give us the best education and support imaginable. And for that, we should be eternally grateful. Now for our water. Our teachers, support staff, counselors, coaches, advisors, the people who gave us the strengths and nutrients to grow. Our teachers don't just teach, they inspire. They believe in every one of us for who we are. They told us where to look, but never what to see. And despite how many times Jenny Bay burped or Gift devoured her bananas, when times were rough, we knew they were our friends too. So teachers, counselors, and staff, thank you for guiding us from your hearts and not just books. Thank you for giving it your all to allow us to flourish. And of course, how can we forget about our soil? The thing we all thought was a bit muddy and tried to avoid, but soon realized that we couldn't grow without it. Of course for us, Mr. Cooper is the soil. We couldn't have done it without his love, support, and care that he hid perfectly behind the loudness of his screams and the redness of his face. To show you what I mean, I would like to quote one of his favorite students, Kartik, who stated, and I quote, Mr. Cooper was like the pigeon that stands on my toilet window that flaps its wings hard enough to scare me out. <laughs> now, as I reach the end of my speech, I know I'm obviously not the wisest person in the room, but with a few Google searches and somewhat cringy metaphors, here are a few things I think we should never lose sight of. One, listen to the people around you, but always, always follow your heart. Do what makes you tick, and as Dr. Seuss says, be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Two, remember, life is like a burrito. One second and it can all be flipped upside down. There's no point trying to predict when it'll flip, so be grateful for every moment we have. Appreciate the good, the bad, and the ugly. Things turn out best for people who make the best out of the way things turn out. Three, take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go, but don't ever forget to enjoy the journey. Sure, money, grades, and jobs are nice, but the happiness we share and the memories we make are priceless. So make up your own rules. Work hard, be ambitious, do what you love with the people you love. But every once in a while, don't forget to just be stupid. Be a gumdrop. So with all of that being said, here's to the unbreakable bonds we have made. Here's to the long bathroom breaks and last minute assignments. Here's to the late nights we thought would never end. Here's to the memories we made that will last a lifetime. And finally, like Katy Perry always says, baby, you're a firewalk. Work, come on, let's show them what you're worth. Thank you. <laughs>